Hazing did happen on the UNM women's soccer team. Athletic director Paul Krebs confirmed that today in a news conference. A police report shows the hazing happened during an initiation event and involved alcohol. Two students were hospitalized. Action 7 sports director Orlando Sanchez tells us what else the investigation found. In this particular instance involving our women's soccer program, we failed. Uh, th there is no question there was hazing in this incident. Sunday night, players on the UNM women's soccer team went from one party to another drinking alcohol. And later that night, UNM police responded to a phone call where two players were heavily intoxicated to the point where they had to go to the hospital. Police reports say it was from a team initiation. According to a university investigation, the entire women's soccer team was involved in hazing. And they've made a big mistake. They've damaged the reputation of the university. They've damaged the reputation of the soccer program. Athletic director Paul Krebs specifically addressed certain allegations. There was absolutely no nudity involved. And that's been made clear by the women on the team. And the allegation of urine being sprayed on the team is also simply not, not true. Krebs says none of the players were forced to drink alcohol, but some were pressured by their teammates to do so. And while the investigation is not over, the team is now required to take an anti-hazing course, and they'll participate in a community service project. The Lobo season opener was canceled. Further punishments are possible, and Krebs did not rule out canceling the whole season. The most significant way to send a message is either to limit playing time or take away opportunities to play in games. Orlando Sanchez, KOAT Action, 7 Sports. Hazing incidents aren't uncommon in New Mexico. In 2008, six football players at Robertson High School were accused of sodomizing several teammates in a preseason summer camp. And a few years ago, after that, three football players at Valencia High School sexually assaulted a teammate in their locker room. Right now, New Mexico is one of only six states that do not have a law against hazing, but that's changing. We're told a draft of an anti-hazing bill should be ready within a week. Anti-hazing laws are important to send a message that that kind of behavior is just not tolerated. In other states, hazing is punishable with hundreds of dollars worth of fines, the forfeiture of scholarships, even jail time. The